First and foremost, when you're notified of separation, you're going to be afraid. That's normal, especially if you've got significant time in the military. I tell folks all the time on the phone, if you're not concerned about this, if you're not worried about this, this is not something that keeps you up at night. There's going to be a problem with you. So first thing you got to understand when you get that notification of separation is you're going to be scared, you're going to be nervous, and you're going to be confused. The second thing that you have to understand is there is absolutely hope. There's absolutely hope. Up to this point, the separation process feels very one-sided. Your command is essentially initiated the separation because they think you did it. You probably have another person in uniform out there saying you did something bad to them. And you might feel like you are at the end of your line and it might be better just to sign the waiver for the other than honorable discharge and go on with your life. That's a huge mistake. Separation boards are very much like many trials. The prosecutor, who they call the recorder, still has to prove their case. They still have to prove that you committed the misconduct. And if they cannot do that, your career is saved. So how do you become successful at a separation board? Number one, you hire a law firm that has the capability of doing a thorough investigation. By and large, the evidence that accompanies these notifications of separations are woefully incomplete and only include her side of the story or the complainant side of the story and they don't include the actual facts that are out there investigate 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 second you and your attorney have to develop a concise verifiable common sense driven defense theme of defense theory of defense that has to be developed through an investigation and then of course the last thing you need is somebody who can execute During the separation board, when your accuser is called as a witness, does your lawyer have the experience, the know-how, and the capability to tactfully tear them apart through a cross-examination? I can tell you the attorneys at Capaville and Williams certainly do. This is our mission in life. This is what we do every single day. It's an art for us. It's a science for us. The last thing that has to be done to win a separation board is the closing argument hammering home the key points that show the prosecution, in this case, the recorder, has not met their burden. And if you can do those things and you can do them effectively and you have an attorney who knows how to deliver a message, there's absolutely hope out there. So the number one thing I want people to take from from this message is do not lose hope. There are better days ahead.